Welcome to another video. Olama has been one of the most useful tools in the local AI scene. It makes using local AI models super easy. You can easily set up any local model with one command and start using it with their server. Not just that, it also provides API endpoints, which you can use with any third-party software to utilize those LLMs in different ways. I have been a fan of it. That's why in almost every video, you would see me talking about it. I have covered a bunch of things that utilize it in really intricate ways. But this obviously doesn't mean that it's perfect. Olama has multiple nuances, like managing models, unloading models, deleting models, memory management, and stuff like that. Getting models installed on Olama is pretty easy. You copy a command, paste it in your terminal, and you get started with it. But when you need to run these models later, you either have to remember all the models and their names, and if you have a different version of the same model, then you also have to remember the parameter or other differentiator about it. Removing and unloading these models from your memory is an even bigger issue. Overall, the management of Alama models has been a really big issue. Although there are separate commands that Alama gives you to list models and stuff like that, there's no interactive interface where you can manage everything and use it with ease. It can get pretty annoying and unmanageable. But today, I have something that claims to fix this annoyance, and that's Golama. Golama is a tool for managing Olama models. Golama provides you with a text user interface, TUI, for listing, inspecting, deleting, copying, and pushing Olama models. It allows you to interactively select models, sort, filter, edit, run, unload, and perform actions on them using hotkeys. It's built on Go, and that's why it has the name Golama. There are multiple operations that you can perform on your Olama model with this without remembering the annoying model names. You can unload models, delete models, copy models, sort models, and do multiple other things like that. It's really cool. If you don't prefer the TUI, then you can also use it as a CLI tool where you can get multiple options like listing models, removing models, and stuff like that. Let's get it installed and check it out. To install it, you'll need to have Go installed. If you don't have that, then you can go to Go's installation page. Click on the download link and get the installation file downloaded for your OS. Once done, just follow the installation instructions for your OS. Once Go has been installed, just run this command, and Golama will get installed. Once done, we can now use it. By the way, make sure that you have a llama installed before running this. I already have it installed, and I have also installed multiple models as well, like Phi 3, Quen 2, DeepSeek, and Llama 3. Anyway, now we can use it. If you run the Golama command, you'll see this TUI. Here, you can see the list of your Olama models in one place. Now let me tell you what you can do over here. First, if you press I, you can inspect the model and see all the details about the model, including model name, quantization, size, and stuff like that. This is a cool option to know everything about your model. You can also hit enter to chat with a model using the Olama chat interface. If you want to exit from the Olama chat interface and come back to Golama, then you can just type slash exit and you'll be thrown back to the Golama interface. Then, with the shift D option, you can delete a model, which is also pretty cool if you want to delete any of your models. You can hit C to copy a model and name it something else. This is also a good option if you want to rename your models or something like that. With the Shift U option, you can unload all models from your memory. This is also a cool option to free up your VRM after you are done with your Olama tasks. Next, 
with the Shift P option, you can push the model to a llama if you want to do that for some reason. For sorting, you can use the N key to sort by name. You can also use S to sort by size. You can use M to sort by modified date. You can use K to sort by quantization, and you can use F to sort by family. So, you can sort it in almost any way you want. These are the major ways you can use it. If you don't want to use the TUI, but still want to use it, then you can also use the CLI tool, which can also sort, delete, update, and do most of the things that TUI can. You can use these command line arguments with it. With the L operator, you can list the models. With the S operator, you can search for models with multiple search patterns. With the E operator, you can edit the model file. And with the U operator, you can unload all models from your memory. There are also multiple other options that you can use, like linking your models to LM Studio and stuff like that. There are also some other key bindings that you can use with the TUI, which are listed here. You can also configure multiple other things from their configuration file. You can change your server URL if you have your Olama server at some other place. You can also set up a log file, columns, and stuff like that. It's pretty cool as well. Overall, I like this project a lot. This is a really useful tool for managing Olama models. It removes the whole hassle part from Olama model management and makes it super easy. Plus, you can also get a bunch more details about the models you are using. And overall, you get a better management interface for your models. I think it's a kind of must-have for those who use Olama. Although, I would have liked it if it gave an option to also pull models via a graphical interface. But overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.